Alright, here I have these two limits for you guys. The first one is the limit as x approaching 0, and we have tangent of 3x over sine of 2x. And for the second one, I put the numbers and make them become powers. Alright, so let's see. When we plug in 0 into here and here, well, tangent of 0 is 0, sine of 0 is 0. So that's a good news because we can use L'Hopital's rule. So let me write that down right here for you guys. This is the 0 for 0 case. We can use L'Hopital's rule. And right here, let me just put down ddx, means that we are going to differentiate the top, and then we also differentiate the bottom. Right here, we get the limit as x approaching 0. Okay, differentiating tangent, we get secant squared, and the input stays the same. And don't forget to use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative inside, and that will give us the 3. And then the bottom, the derivative of sine is cosine. And then here we have 2x. And again, use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Now we can plug in 0 into all the x's. So let me just show you guys all the work, even though I know this is 1, that's 1, but here's the deal. We have 3 times secant square of 3 times 0, and then over 2 times cosine of 2x and the x is equal to 0. Here on the top, secant of 0 is 1 and square that will square will get 1. And then cosine of 1 is also 1. So all in all, we just get 3 over 2. And that will be the answer for the first one. And then we are done. For the second one, check this out. Yes, we are going to get 0 over 0 as well. And just be really careful with your derivative. And for now, let me just indicate this for you guys to make things super clear. It's 0 over 0, so we get to use L'Hopital's rule. Right here, differentiate the top, and then also do the same thing on the bottom. And this is going to give us the limit as x approaching 0. Again, the derivative of tangent is secant squared, and the input stays the same. But use the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of x to a third power, and that's 3x squared. On the bottom, differentiate sine, we get cosine. And then the input stays the same. And we multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So let me put that down right here. Now, check this out though. We are going to cancel one of the x out. So this is going to be gone. And now we will just have x to the first power on the top. And be really careful. This time we put 0 into all the x's, but we have this additional x. So we get 3 times the x is 0, and then we have secant square of 0 to the third power over 2 times cosine of 0 square. This is 1, that's 1, but 3 times 0 is 0, 0 over 2 is equal to 0. So the answer for this one is equal to 0, but the one that we had earlier is 3 over 2, right? That's it.